The build-up has been intense, and now we are just about ready to go. Make no mistake, the world is watching. It's the Copa Libertadores final. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. You can guarantee we're in for something special. It's River Plate, and they face Racing. Well, what a match this promises to be. Both teams have been phenomenal throughout the earlier rounds. Well, that counts for nothing now. It's all about performing on the big stage. I've been in this situation before, and it's all about composure, not letting the atmosphere get to you. Looking forward to this one, Derek. So here is the lineup. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. Now look at the opposition starting lineup today. Well, there's no great mystery, is there? We know normally how they're going to play, and it's all about applying as much pressure as possible. Lee, can we anticipate seeing more of the same today? Yeah, absolutely, Derek. If you're really good at something, then why not? They're very good at this. All the team members have bought into this style of play. One player slacks off and it all falls apart, though. Well, it's not a great surprise, is it, to see Riva featuring in another Copa Libertadores final. In recent years, they've had their fair share of success, Lee. Yeah, their fair share of heartbreak too, Derek. Obviously, that huge disappointment against Flamengo in the dying minutes of the 2019 final. Huge club, though, huge expectations, and they have to fancy their chances here. Enzo Perez. Fernandez. Tia Suarez, defensive efficiency personified. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, that's the end of that for now. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Real chance. He must finish. There it is! How about that for starters? Well, what a huge moment that might be for this club. The fans are going absolutely wild. Well, don't you just love counter-attack football? Pace, power, coordination, the movement off the ball is absolutely brilliant. And there's a finish to match. the game then might really be able to trouble them here Mena and the emphasis is on creativity just looking for the right moment for that final pass He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Can they hit on the break? Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Targets available, cross comes in. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out of the net. Absolutely amazing. He's driven in the corner. Just couldn't capitalise there. Saraccio. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Mena, Matias Rojas, Zuccolini, and attempting the through ball. It's there for him. Oh, he's found the net. 
and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, the keeper will be frustrated. He thought he'd saved it. He's so unlucky there. It's a good angle from him as well, but it's in the back of the net. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. So, 2-0 now. Diaz, Marcelo Diaz, Saracho, might be able to set up the chance, he read it well but still work to do, and you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort, used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. Bruno Zuccolini. Davio Svitanic. Lisandro Lopez. It's all about translating threats into goals. Danger averted. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Magnificent defending. Dealing with the threat that was real. Rojas, Matias Saracho. On and on he goes. Mena, looking away patiently, looking for an opening. On the ball, Mena. He has been deemed to be offside, not by Muchley. Brilliant, brilliant officiating that is. Look at that, spot on. And here's Quarta. Fernandez. Not a good pass. Getting forward. Crossing opportunity. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. And you need your defender to take charge. And fed forwards. He's managed to get in behind. It's got to be. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Here's the replay. I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him and he's unlucky, really. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. And it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they can add. Matias Rojas. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Space and time for the cross. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Zuccolini. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. And he takes on the shot. Easy save. Giving them the gift of possession. That is that for the first half here.
The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Maneuvering his way forward. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. He takes aim. High echelon goalkeeping there. And that is offside. Prato. Milton Casco. Given away. I must say, this looks promising. Matias Rojas. An important interception. Can he put it away? And it's gone in! Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position and he wasn't disappointed. There it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Perez, Fernandez, Montiel. Read it superbly to take back possession. They've given it away. Prato, tackling and winning the ball to boot. Diaz. Lopez. Svitanic. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Oh, a fine block. Foiling them effectively. Ignacio Fernandez. Nicolas de la Cruz. Fernandez. Now, let's see what they can do here. He must finish! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Corner kick played over. Well, that was simply miles off target. Dear me. Oh, close your eyes when you're watching this one. It's horrific. <laughs> Lopez. Diaz. An unforced error, you've got to say. Wonderfully weighted pass. And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Now let's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Neri Dominguez. Diaz, Matias Rojas, Lopez, Saracho. He has teammates to play it to. Solari, Pijud. Not all that convincing defensively. Oh, the cross and fired against the crossbar. You can see he was feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not close, though. Well, it was definitely worth the chance, just got the technique a little bit off. Well, you can't come much closer to scoring than that. Pinola. Couldn't keep it. The cross is on. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Is it going to end up being productive for them? 
Rojas. He's given us away. Nevi Dominguez. In possession lost, intercepted. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. The cross was very much on, but not the end result they were hoping for. And he takes on the shot. Simple save, really. On the ball, Solari. Matias Zaraccio. Augusto Solari. Individual quality coming to the fore. He has plenty of support. Just a couple of minutes left for play. Matias Rojas. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. A real opening now. Will he finish? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Oh, a vital interception. And the referee brings this final to an end. Riva Plate are the winners of the Copa Libertadores. Spare a thought for the losers. An emotional occasion. And Lee, the bottom line is, they've done it. Well, the opposite ends of the emotions, Derek. When you're a winner, you don't think about anything else other than your teammates. But when you're the loser, you're standing and watching all this go ahead in front of you. It's really devastating, but it's all about them now, the winners. And they put so much work into this campaign. It has paid off. And now for the walk every player in South America wants to make. Awaiting them, that piece of sterling silver and their name will shortly be on the pedestal. Well, it's always superstition. Don't touch the trophy before you win it. And this lad's going to get his hands on it now. What a brilliant performance and well-deserved. River Plate, the winners of the Copa Libertadores. And this is only the start of what will be wild celebrations, Lee. Well, it's deserved as well. All that hard work during the season, all those training ground hours, and also the families as well, they'll enjoy this because they sacrifice stuff as well when the players are away. And this is really special, getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team. Now they get to join in the celebrations, go into the crowd and give them the cup, that's what I say. Well, then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet, Lee. now for the pictures that they'll be looking at for the rest of their lives absolutely it's amazing how many times i got on that front row i can tell you that but they'll enjoy this moment these pictures are going around the world the libertadores victors